Hello, it's Dave Dunn here, and I want to give you a quick overview of how this uh, fast click direct, the web hooks actually work. So what I'm going to do is show you using this site here, webhook.site, and it's a webhook testing site. But basically, if you have any site with a webhook on, what we can do is send a URL parameter to that webhook. So for example, with Z Zapier, there may be an integration that you don't have and you want to send a, a parameter to a webhook in Zapier or you may, may have a custom integration so that basically we can send someone to a redirect URL while simul simultaneously sending a webhook event using parameters of, that have been passed in the, in the redirect URL. So let me show you this to make it a bit clearer what I'm talking about. So we're going to set up a campaign here. So I'm going to give this campaign a title. I'll just call it redi Webhook Redirect. Webhook Redirect. So this is our URL. We're going to give the campaign link. So this is a link that people will click on. Um, click me, right? The destination could be whatever we want. I'm just going to send them to Google. Okay, and then this is the part that I'm doing this demonstration for, is the webhook URL. So I've copied the webhook URL here, copy to clipboard. So this is webhook.site, and I'm going to paste that in the box. Now, what we can do is we could have a parameter that's directly tied to this destination, or we just pass parameters. So if we pass parameters, Anything that's added to this click me is going to be passed to both the destination here and this webhook. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Add campaign. Okay, so that campaign's been added. So here's the link, yeah? So if I go and paste that into the browser, then if we add something to this link, forward slash, and then we'll add a URL parameter. So it could be, it could be anything, but we'll just say name equals Dave. Yeah, so I'm gonna enter that. So now we've been forwarded to Google, the parameter has been passed to Google. Google's not gonna do anything with that parameter. But if this was your site and you were using parameters for a certain purpose, then obviously that parameter would be passed to your site. And if we go into webhook.site, you can see that we've received a webhook here with that parameter passed as well. So we've kind of simultaneously redirected the traffic to one destination while sending a webhook event with the parameters that we need to pass. So this is just a testing site, but if you're using Zapier, you can send parameters to Zapier while redirecting to a destination or whatever other system you need to send these webhooks to. It's very basic uh, implementation of webhooks. And obviously there's more sophisticated ways to send data to a webhook, but this gives you a really rudimentary way of passing data to one destination while sending your traffic to another.